What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at another video for you guys today. So I was requested to check out this video. It's called Top 10 Onset Jackie Chan Injuries. Who doesn't love Jackie Chan? And uh, I've actually seen, you know, from videos, obviously, you know, him having these injuries, like on movies from Rush Hour, like on the third one, where he was doing the whole fight scene with the girl in the room, whatever, and he, like, lifted the table up. It was, like, during, like, bloopers and shit. And, like, he kicked, knocked himself in the head. With I was like, Jesus Christ. So, that looked like it hurt. But, um, let's see what other injuries he had occurred during on set. So, let's go ahead and check out this video, shall we? And about a three, two, one. This iconic actor has been putting life and limb on the line for our entertainment oh, yeah. for decades. Welcome to Ooh, Watch on his head. and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Jackie Chan injuries. Before we begin, we publish new videos Jesus. every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Right. For this list, we're looking at the worst injuries actor and stuntman Jackie Chan has sustained throughout his years in the film business. My hand, just like this, it's over. All the energy are gone. I just, then I get off the car. The whole body was... No more power. Number 10, broken ankle, Rumble in the Bronx. Unlike Ooh. his character in this film, Jackie Chan is not invincible. Rumble in the Bronx features Chan playing a Hong Kong cop who gets embroiled in a skirmish with a New York City biker gang. During the film's climactic action sequence, Chan jumps from a bridge to a hovercraft. Unfortunately, the stunt ended up breaking one of the actor's ankles. Whereas Yikes. other actors would have taken time off to heal their broken limb, Chan simply wore a specially designed covering over his cast that resembled a shoe, which allowed him He's to the finish man. the film without significant delay. True grit, Chan's got it in spades. Number 9, Knee Injury, City Hunter. In this action comedy, Jackie Chan plays a womanizing private eye tasked with tracking down a runaway daughter of a powerful CEO. The film is jam-packed with zany fight scenes and cringe-worthy jokes that only the early 90s could get away with. But perhaps the craziest moment is when Chan must escape a pack of thugs on a skateboard. Somewhere between zipping through traffic and doing backflips over cars, all the while holding oh, onto his no. board, Chan tore up his knee pretty badly. Of course, it didn't stop him from completing the film. Number 8, Chin Injury, Dragon Lord. Jackie Chan is a man of many talents. Nowhere mm -hmm. was this more apparent in Chan's early career than on the set of Dragon Lord, a film he wrote, directed, and starred in. Chan plays oh. Dragon, a young man in love who finds himself ensnared by a gang of thieves, once again forced to fight his way out of trouble. Unfortunately, one scene got a little too real when Chan injured his chin while performing a stunt. Ooh, the gaff made it difficult for him to speak clearly, which is quite the hiccup when you're both starring in and directing a film. As you've probably guessed, oh, the unstoppable going at it, Jackie Chan found a way to make it work. Number 7, Shoulder Slash Cheekbone Injury, Police Story 3, Super Cop. Police Story 3, Super Cop saw this daredevil of an actor pulling off some of the most complicated and risky stunts of his entire career. In fact, fellow filmmaker Quentin Tarantino has stated that the film boasts the greatest stunts ever filmed in any movie ever. That was cold. That's some seriously high praise. Of course, making history comes with its risks, meaning that injury was almost inevitable for Chan. As seen in the end credits, while swinging on a long metal pipe, Chan failed to get out of the way of an incoming Damn. helicopter, and it clipped him, reportedly ripping up his shoulder muscles and breaking his cheekbone. Number his 6, Dislocated too? Sternum, Armor of God Yikes. 2, Operation Condor. There is nothing funny about the injury Chan experienced while filming this action comedy. Armor of God 2, Operation Condor featured the Hong Kong native reprising the role of Indiana Jones-inspired treasure hunter Jackie, aka the Asian Hawk, aka the Asian Condor. The injury in question occurred while Chan was attempting to swing from one platform to oh another God. via a long chain. Unfortunately, oh Chan's grip wasn't exactly on point, and he fell face first onto the ground and the result face was a damn. dislocated sternum. We yes. may not be medical professionals, but something tells us that had to hurt. Number yeah, five, on your face. First Legs, Crime Story. This one sounds absolutely brutal. While working on the 1993 action film Crime Story, Chan suffered what can best be described as an injury for the ages. During an action sequence, Chan's legs were caught between two cars and crushed. Of Ouch. course, when you're as determined an actor as Jackie Chan, you don't let that sort of thing slow you down, especially when you still have a film to complete. Not only did Chan brush off a pair of crushed legs and finish the movie, but he worked on another one later that year. Suffice it to say, He's a real this guy G. isn't human, no at bullshit. least as far as his pain threshold and willpower are concerned. <laughs> Number 4, Electric Shock. Burned hands, broken vertebrae, etc. Police story. Chan sustained a laundry list of injuries while working on police story. First, he fell from a second story window and landed directly on his back. 
That miscue earned him a couple you of cannot broken be serious. Bird then, during the infamous pole slide Ooh, escape Lord. scene, in which he slides down a pole covered in Christmas lights, Chan suffered an electric shock. Second Ooh. degree burns on his hands as well that as looked like it all them damn lights. and dislocated his pelvis. Apparently, the lights had been improperly rigged, resulting in extremely high up. temperatures. The fact that he survived to make five more of these movies is quite frankly astounding. Then I go, I go up, then I go down. You're scared. Really scared. I'm not, I just ordinary people. I'm not a Superman. Number three, eye injury, drunken master. Most people would have given up the whole becoming an action star thing after nearly losing an eye, but not Jackie Chan. While he was nope. working on the seminal 1978 comedy kung fu film Drunken Master, Chan sustained an injury to the ridge of his brow and as a result nearly lost his eye. Thankfully he didn't, completing the film and subsequently going on to make dozens more. <laughs> it's scary to think that the world was almost deprived of decades worth of Jackie Chan. Of course, even without the eye, he probably could have kept on acting. Number two, neck injury, broken nose, broken fingers. Project A. I'm gonna talk As the about title the of this entry implies, Chan went through the ringer while shooting Project A, an action comedy that famously borrowed from the films of silent era stars Buster Keaton and Harold Lloyd. The injuries that Chan sustained while shooting included broken fingers, a broken nose, and a serious neck injury. The latter occurred while attempting to replicate Yikes. a scene from Lloyd's 1923 film, Safety Last, in which he hung from the minute and hour hands of a clock suspended high above the street. Chan purposefully fell 60 feet while performing the stunt, but landed awkwardly on his neck. Yeah, ow! Managed to survive the arrowing ordeal. That could have went so wrong. Oh, before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Broken okay. hand. Aggravated back. Oh shit, Jet Li. Ooh, they be fighting. I like this shit. Number one, skull fracture. Armor oh, of God. Rush out. Throwing away blip, the most huh? serious injury of his career, Chan was on death's doorstep after this stunt went horribly wrong. The scene called for him to jump from a wall to a tree, and he pulled it off easily on the very first try. Unfortunately, ever the perfectionist, Chan insisted on a second take, which is when his luck gave out. His hand slipped on a branch, and he fell between 20 and 40 feet to the ground. Chan's head hit they a rock, resulting in a fractured didn't they? skull, a brain hemorrhage, and some hearing loss in one ear. Incredibly, he managed to survive, though he still Thank has God. a plug in his skull, a constant reminder of his brush with death. Do you agree with our pick? I'm surprised they didn't show any scenes from uh, the Rush Hour movies, because I remember seeing quite a few from Rush Hour 2, I think. Maybe one might have happened on Rush Hour 1, but I do remember Rush Hour 2, he got stuck in like the, it wasn't necessarily injury, but... You know, he got stuck in the little thing at the desk or whatever. And then, like I said, Rush Hour 3, he, like, you know, hit himself in the face with that damn table. I'm pretty sure that that wasn't an easy brush off. I mean, like, a big, heavy-ass table just clocks you in your face. That shit, I know that had to hurt. You know, shout-out to Jackie Chan one time because this man has been around forever, okay? Like, forever, ever. Like, seriously. He did a damn thing. I mean, he's another one of those people that... Pretty much has done how all his stunts and stuff like uh, Tom Cruise. Like when I saw Mission Impossible uh, Fallout, what was that last year? Or was it this year? Hell, I forgot. But anyway, um, that shit was lit as hell. Like that was a good ass movie. He was like running off fast. Cause I, you know, I've heard about Tom Cruise. Did I say Tom Hanks? If I did, I meant to say Tom Cruise. I'd be talking so fast sometimes. But, um, you know, him doing all of his stunts and his movies and stuff. So. Yeah, shout out to y'all because I'm pretty sure that's not an easy job, especially getting injuries and doing these risky like moves and stunts and stuff. So shout out to y'all. They better pay y'all y'all dues. You understand? So once again, shout out to Jackie Chan. And with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Comment below. What's one of your favorite Jackie Chan movies? Let me know in the comment section as well as anything I can react to for you guys next. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram and hit that notification bell so you guys can know when I have a video up and loaded. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Taylor Rain, I'm out this thing.